What's good guys, hope you guys are doing well. As you can see, I'm in another uh, bathroom. I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, there's a window in here, so I kind of like the natural light. Giving it a shot, we'll see how it goes. It's not my bathroom, but yeah. So um, for the brush, I haven't used this brush in about a week. I used it in my last video or two videos ago. The Varlet, Varlet with a T. My friends <laughs> were uh, correcting me on it. It's Varlet, but Varlet sounds way cooler, so I might still say that. We are loaded with a dark soap. I'll get into the soap, but um, yeah, we got a special mail call slash razor. This is none other than the Max Sprecher. So I've wanted this razor for quite some time, probably over a year. And um, I saw this was available, so I hopped on it. So the specs on this razor are, it has scalloped spine work, which is absolutely badass. Um, I thought I'd like the regular spine work better, but this is just beautiful. And I thought I'd be less comfortable, but it actually helps with me gripping the razor, I feel. We got abalone scales here, absolutely beautiful. My number one choice might be the blue pow scales, but I don't know, this will really grow on me. This is just absolutely beautiful. Now we got a quarter hollow blade here, and then we got this V-notch, which is kind of like a barber's notch and a, um, yeah, kind of like a barber's notch and a French point had a baby which is like my two favorite um, tips. So when you combine them, I was like, take my money. <laughs> so we got the unbranding here. This is obviously honed by Max Sprecher himself. Um, and a few, couple of videos back, I said I was kind of done with straights and I was talking about how I liked the artist club better, but I thought I'd give it one last hoorah and get this because you could pretty much break even when you sell these. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I already got one shave with it in and it worked out pretty well, but we're gonna uh, apply the soap while I get into it. Uh, I overloaded the shit out of this because I didn't realize it was a cream. I thought it was a soap, which is kind of my fault. So um, yeah, I might be here for a while, but the scent is actually a new soap. This is called Lancaster Leather by Katie's Bubbles. So I told myself, you know, Katie Bubble, Katie's Bubbles has been in the game for like, what, since 2013 or something? And I have yet to try them. I was like, what the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> um, so yeah, here I am trying um, Katie's Bubbles. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I really overloaded the soap though, so I'm kind of worried that It might mess me up with the lather, but uh, whenever you overload way too much, it's no, it's not really the end of the world. You kind of just have to adjust by adding more water, maybe working it in a little bit longer. Really soft knot here. Yeah, so this is an interesting scent. I thought it would be like a dark leather. It's definitely not bright leather. Um, I don't know if that's even a thing, but it's not like super dark. Um, so the set notes on this are, sorry, I got to pull this up. I'm getting lathered all over my arm. Dried fruits, rich woods, tobacco, and suede. So um, when when I'm lathering up, I'm definitely getting the, the, uh, the suede here. Sorry, the dried fruits, mostly with the leather. And I'm definitely getting that suede. Not a ton of woods. Um, but, uh, sorry, I can't even catch my breath here. So I believe, <laughs> so I got a mail call of Kitty's Bubbles. So I test lathered the soap thinking it was the same as the cream. And that's where I messed up <laughs> pretty much. But this is pretty dense, dude. For vegan, this is a vegan formula, by the way. I'll go over the uh, the ingredients probably before the end of the video. Hopefully, I remember. But I mean, one thing I'll say is this dials in really quick because I I overloaded this, and it's pretty dense. It's got a nice sheen to it. 
it's probably thicker than I'd probably want for than for probably a typical straight razor shave. But you know what? We're gonna work with it. Cause I just overloaded way too much. But all good. Uh when I remember when I first used milk steak. Very first time I used milk steak, I overloaded the crap out of it. Mm. And I actually overload a lot of things. Wow, that's slick. Damn, dude. Yo, I've been sleeping on Katie's bubbles. Let me just clean this up a little bit. And we'll get into pass number one. Ready for pass number one. Really excited to have this Sprecker in the den. We are going to give it a go. This is actually my second shave with it. I wanted to uh, get used to the razor before I share it off on camera. And we'll get right into it. Um, I also told myself I would use a straight razor or use the Sprecker for 30 days straight. So if I make another video in a few days or whatever, it'll probably be with this razor. Guys, this razor is freaking awesome. Um, yeah. I was able to go against the grain yesterday, which I'm not normally able to do with a lot of razors. And I don't know if it's the edge with, in combination of a quarter hollow. I never tried to spread your edge on a quarter hollow, or maybe it's his own razor. I don't know what it is, the combination, but dope razor. I'm sorry though. I'm um, sorry guys, I haven't really made a ton of videos. Uh, for those looking for an update on the Muramasa, I um, have been using that every single day, and I'm very pleased with it. I'll use that in future videos. No plans to get rid of that, but um, I will say is what it did is it put the timeless slim on the hot seat. Freaking awesome razor. But uh, I'll address that in a different video. We are straight razor shaving. I'm actually gonna clean up on the Muramasa, so you'll see that probably on the after the third pass. But damn, guys, this is just such a smooth shaver. So one thing I'm focusing on is trying to look away in the direction away in the direction I'm shaving. So if I'm shaving my left side of my face, I'm looking away. Uh, to kind of stretch my skin and then kind of pulling down on my skin. Um, yeah, I'm not looking at the camera right now, I'm just looking at the mirror. Awesome. Uh, one thing I noticed too yesterday is this this razor is crazy efficient. Like, uh, I mean, our straights in general, they're just... I almost forgot like how efficient they are on the first pass. They're just stupid efficient. Um, I got water on my fingers. So now I have to dry my hands in the razor. So don't worry, I'll probably edit this video so it's not five hours long. Um, let's see. All right, cool. That's the first pass. Just gonna sit some towel here. And then we'll get into pass number two. Like I said, I overloaded the crap out of this brush. So we're just gonna distribute the residual lather on the brush onto my face. This is a very pleasant leather. Um, it's not my favorite leather. I think my favorite leather scent probably goes to Gratiot League Square by Chantillon Lux. But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy this, you know? It doesn't mean you should have only one leather. The same way I like having multiple tobaccos in my den, I like having multiple leathers. That's just me. A lot of people, they like having multiple citruses. So I'm just gonna split some water on here. We're gonna try to get a really nice wet lather. There you go. 
I don't want to agitate too much, add too much volume, but one thing I'll say about this Katie's Bubbles Cream is it lathers super quickly. This is literally the first time I've ever face lathered it, so I don't know uh, exactly how to dial it in, but what I do know is I've overloaded, so there's that. All right, so we're just gonna paint in a ton of water. We want this bad boy slick AF. Here we go. Oops. All right, I think that's good. One more water addition here. Uh, yep, there you go. Yeah, that's plenty slick. Go against the grain here on the sprecker. But yeah, it's just muscling through my growth. No problem. I uh, stropped this on the linen. Only 10 times. Apparently Max says you only need to strop 10 times. You know, some people do it like 30, 40, 100, 150 times um, and more power to them. And I used to do that too, but um, I feel like after like 30 times, my uh, technique stropping in like a straight manner. Uh, let's slack a little bit. So, so I'm just gonna go in the same direction on my mustache and on my neck on the second pass here. And then on that third pass, that's when I'll really go kind of across or against the grain rather on the neck, so. Stay tuned for that. Uh, we're gonna be in 13 minutes in. Also, I've been focusing on doing just a single stroke, single progression, so stroke across my my face, I can't speak, with the razor. Sorry, I'm just, I keep looking down at it, making sure I'm holding it right. It's, this is not a cheap razor. I decided I was gonna sell two other razors and like two other brushes to cover this. So uh, this was not a, <laughs> uh, I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it was a big decision, but no, no buyer's remorse yet. I'd say it was worth it in my opinion. Nice. I took off some hair there. Yeah, I ordered a couple of the eight ounce tubs from Katie, so I will revisit it, but I think those eight ounces are the soaps and not the cream. And I hear the cream is like, like the higher end product. Someone correct me if I'm wrong here. It seems to be doing very well. I'm going to feel around and then we'll get ready for pass number three. Pass number three. So I'm not going directly against the grain of my face. I'm just going to go diagonal. Yesterday it was enough to get me to BBS and right now it is. So this part of my face is the hardest part, my entire face, to go against the grain with a straight razor. For some reason, a lot of razors, whether it be the edge or the grind, I don't know what the reason is, but it tends to get stuck on that Pass. But yeah, um, forgot to talk about the scent really. 
I get dried fruits, I get the suede, I get the leather. If anything, I get the dried fruits and the suede a little bit more than the leather. Um, I feel like the leather is what adds that darkness, but it's definitely not as dark and leathery to me as Gratiot Leak Squares. It's, it's got like a more fruity vibe without being sweet. Yeah, this is a big-ass blade. This is an 8 8 um, I've had an 8 8 before, but I'm still not entirely used to it. So yeah, this takes practice for sure. That's why I'm doing this for the next 30 days. I feel like my shave was a little bit better yesterday, but um, nevertheless, you're at 99% BBS with just the straight. Second time using this, very happy with this. Um, we're gonna finish on the, I guess, the fourth pass, essentially, cleanup with the Muramasa. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, we're back for the third pass. I'm using setting three. Astra SP Tatara Muramasa. Um, I've used almost all the settings, except for settings one and very little of setting two. Um, my favorite settings are three through five for sure. Five, two, I feel like I'm, I'm definitely losing that efficiency. And you have to go over the same spot anyways, just to get a closer shave, which kind of defeats the purpose. You know, it depends on the person really, just my skin type or my hair type, both. But yeah, loving it. And that's the shave. Um, I'll get back for you. Get back to you for the uh, post shave. All right, guys, we are back for the post shave. So um, this is my second shave of the razor. Yesterday, I had like zero irritation. I got to 99% or 95% BBS. No issues today. It was a different story. I don't know if it was because I was on camera, but um, I got some tenderness, some like a light burning sensation on my cheeks and a little bit on the necks here. You could kind of see the micro, uh, I guess, nicks maybe. Um, so yeah, my guess is um, I probably used too much pressure or the angle wasn't right. I don't know. I'll go back and look at the video for my own benefit. So we'll be using Gratiot Leak Square, which is a leather scent. And I'm actually going to combine this with the unscented Decoration Grooming Liniment, which I'm a big fan of. It's got like a tallowy smell to it. But the performance of this uh, liniment, it's like a bomb. This is actually too much. This is way too much. This stuff, little, little goes a long way. So I'll spread that in now. Um, but yeah, much needed. It's got like a fatty protective feeling, which is why I really like it. This might burn me a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Yep, oh, not too bad. Yeah, this, this uh, GLS pairs really well with the Lancaster leather. Lancaster leather. Yeah, so um, the burning kind of subsided after like two minutes and then it came back with the splash, but I suspect it will subside, subside again. So yeah, great uh, first shave for the most part with the Max Sprecher. Like I said, I'll be using this for the next 30 days to see if I can really improve my uh, technique. But uh, yeah, that's it for the shave, guys. Sorry for the longer video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.